Hi, I want to give you an overview of what's coming next in the course. We're going to be spending a lot of time on supervised learning, and there are a lot of different supervised learning techniques. We're going to start with decision trees. I think decision trees is a great place to start. Um, decision trees are like logical models, so their reasoning processes kind of um, are similar to the way humans reason about things, sort of if, then, and so on. Uh, they're, so they're interpretable to humans. Um, they also are the building blocks for a lot of other algorithms. Now, um, we start with information theory because information theory is actually used to build decision trees in old-fashioned decision tree algorithms. Not the newer ones, but the older ones. So it's, but it's nice, it gives you a chance to learn a little bit of information theory and how it interacts with machine learning. So then from there, um, after we learned how to build single trees, we learned how to combine trees and form random forests and boosted decision trees. Um, so random forest is when you average trees, boosting is when you make a linear combination of trees, and um, boosting um, is probably the most reliable out-of-the-box machine learning method. So if you have a new data set, you've never, uh, you know, never uh, really, um, you know, tried to predict with it or something, you know, you don't really know any secrets of it, boosting is often your best bet. Um, it, it usually produces really good results sort of right out of the box. Okay, and then random forests uh, has its own variable importance measure associated with it that's actually super interesting, and the variable importance measure can be used for any machine learning algorithm and not just random forests. Uh, so we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about the the version that's specific to random forests and the version that's more general that you can use for any algorithm. Okay, and then boosting actually can be used to construct additive models, and additive models are interpretable to humans, and so um, that's, why, that's why we like those. All right, and uh, yeah, so that's just a preview of what's coming next. Thank you.